it's not a walkthrough, playthrough, review, anything like that. It's just me playing the game badly, so you can see what it looks like. Okay then, this is Marble Madness on the Commodore Amiga, and... I am playing it with a trackball, theoretically. Uh, it would appear that it's not responding. So probably okay. It's 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 responding to the joypad. I don't know why, because I just told it to respond to the uh, the trackball. Whatever. That's disappointing. I've probably done it wrong. Edit. Okay then, this is Marble Madness on the Commodore Amiga, and if I've done it right, <laughs> I would appear not to have done it right. Uh, no, maybe I have. I don't know. No, come on. I've got this hooked up to a trackball, and it's not really working. No, it's not working. <laughs> Not right. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. I'm just sitting. <laughs> Bear with me. Okay. Take three. This is Marble Madness. On the Commodore. Oh my god. Come on now. <laughs> Work. Oh. Stop that. Eat ass. No. Go down, you bastard. It's ass about face completely. I, oh, God almighty. No. All right, let's, I'll, um, I've got, uh, oh. No. No. Okay. Take four or something. This is Marble Madness on the Commodore Amiga. And... I'm playing it with a trackball, which is how this game should be played. And I think I finally got it right at last. Um, I'm not sure that there are there are some blooper reels, and I don't know if they're going to be at the start or the end of this video, but um, you'll see. I haven't laughed so much at playing so badly for a while. I laughed a lot. Uh, yeah, but this. The audio on this actually is not... I would expect it to sound better than this. I've played this game on other systems and it's sounded better. But playing the game whoa, with a trackball is fantastic. This is kicking the ass. Oh, you bastard. Get off. You go away. Oops. Oh, God. This is kicking the ass off of... It. Oh, oh, crap. Any, any joy pad... Oh God Almighty! It helps if you're facing in the right direction, because you can wind up rolling, rolling your ball the wrong way because you, you're not aligned correctly with the screen. Um, but oh crap! Okay, I'm maybe not playing any better than I would be if I was playing with a joypad, but the actual sensation of playing it is just great. I'm loving it. Come on now. Extra time. But, yeah, okay. No, slow down. There. Yeah, come on. 
it just allows that little bit more sensitivity. Down there, you bugger. And not into that. Oh, you sod. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, no, you don't. Down there. It's great. I was not good at this in the arcades, to be fair. Not good at all. Do I want to go? Oh. I didn't want to go that way. No, 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 no. Oh, this is going to be rough. Come on. Up, 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 up. There we go. Yeah. You could not easily do that with the joypad. So, um, I do like this, um, this, this here trackball that I've got. It's called a True Docks. Uh, no idea. Oh my god. Oops. Oh, oh god. Oh god. Okay, pay attention when starting a level. I wasn't even looking at the screen, I was looking at my trackball. Do not stare at your bloody hell. You bastard. Don't stare at your balls when playing video games. It causes death. Um, no. Oh god. That's harsh. I've never seen this level before. Oh, I see what's going to happen here. Wee balls. Oh, God. That's really harsh. Never seen it. No, you bastard. You big bastard ball. No, much dying. Much, much dying. I've got no... Oh, God. I don't know where I'm going, even. Whoa, you're having a laugh. Where? Where the hell do I go from here? Oh, there. Oh! Oh my. Oh, 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 oh god. Oh, out of time. I'm not surprised. I've never ever seen that level. So that's something. Oh, we... What was this? Back at the start? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there. Given all the blooper reels and stuff. Um, Marble Madness, Commodore Amiga, with a trackball. Fantastic. Love it. Haven't laughed so much in a very long time. Thank you for watching. Okay, for today's q and I'm going to answer a couple of questions, because my answer for the first one is kind of short. Um, first question is from Lego Grand Prix. Link to his channel down there. Um, for Q&A, what do you think of Wargaming, Warhammer, 40k, etc.? Um... Very short answer is, I don't. <laughs> I have never indulged in that kind of thing. Um, I can see the appeal of doing the models, decorating, painting them, whatever. I don't know, like, I think once upon a time people used to, like, do their own, melt the lead and put it into, into moulds and make their own, did they? Maybe? Perhaps I remember that wrong. But um, the idea of painting them all and, and all of that I find appealing. But the actual gaming and the rules and the, I guess, multi-sided dice and all, all of the things that go with that that I am unfamiliar with, uh, no appeal whatsoever. That, that, no, doesn't do it for me. So, I mean, it, it, it's a geeky thing and I'm a geek no two ways about it, but it's a different kind of geekery to that that I'm into, so it it don't do it for me. Mm, sorry about that. Uh, so, next question. Questions. There's a story behind the questions. Uh, from Geigerpunk. Uh, as you'll probably see when I read it, he, Rob asked me a question, and link to his channel down there by the way, he asked me a question a long, long, long time ago, which I didn't see. Um, YouTube, being the wondrous thing that it is, didn't alert me. It, you know, you normally get the red bell thing, it didn't do that, so I didn't know that there was a question, and the only way to see it was actually go to the page where it was, but there was nothing to tell me that it was there, so I didn't, and I never saw the question. Um, and Rob came back and asked another question later and I sort of asked, well, did you ever see that question? Um, no, I hadn't. So he asked another question. Anyway, um, it'll all make sense when I read the question. 
I know I've asked you something for Q&A, but don't remember what now. So, and I've just told you the reason for that bit. Um, for Q&A, how many questions have you been asked so far? How many have you got left? I had to do a lot of counting. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't, del I have kept every question I have been asked. And I'm glad I did that because I was able to count them. Otherwise I wouldn't have been able to answer this bit. I have answered, yeah, a bit of maths to work out the actual, uh, how many I've been asked so far. Um, I have been asked 128. And I have answered 102 of them, so I've got 26 left. Yeah, assuming my maths is correct, that seems about right, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, there are 102 answers. I'm not sure that there are 102 videos, because sometimes I answer more than one question per video. But that's a lot of questions to answer, and I thoroughly enjoy it. it, it the format works. And... I like going blah, but I don't always know what to talk about, so it's like, ask me a direct question, I'll give you a direct answer, even if the answer is, I haven't got a clue. Yeah, um, how many are left? 26. Yeah, I'm kind of running down, it's still, there is, people will know, and you will know, because you asked this question ages ago, never mind the original question. There is a long gap between people asking the question and me answering it. Um, months, maybe six months, I don't know. But I don't answer them all, and 26 questions, and if I'm doing like two or three videos a week, and not all of them are gameplays, eh, can, you know, there is a long wait. Um, so, part of the, yeah, and are there any questions you wish people had asked so far? Uh, no. I, I can't, th I, I did think about this, it's like, hmm, there is nothing where I'm thinking, God, I really wish someone would ask me about blah, 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 but the truth is, if I really wanted to talk about blah, 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 I just would, I wouldn't wait to be asked if something was holding my attention, making me think this is important and needs talking about, I would just talk about it, um, yeah. So, no, no, there's not really anything I wish I'd been asked. Uh, I shan't ask about questions you wish hadn't been asked. The only questions I've ever wished hadn't been asked have, ju have been by trolls who've been poking at what they think is a sore spot and isn't, and I've just blocked them and deleted and all of that. Um, yeah. Okay. Added question, as I missed it in dim and distant past. Maybe I thought I'd asked it, but forgot to hit enter. No, th this is the original question uh, that Rob thought it asked, but I didn't see. But anyway, uh, if I remember correctly, it was something like... You don't remember correctly. <laughs> it was something like, are there any systems out there that you still don't have that you'd like to, either taking into account storage space or not, I mean, if you had room for a cray, would you really want one? Silly question. It's not a silly question. It's a good question. Um, okay, yeah, obviously I don't have the space for anything, but I never wanted a cray supercomputer or anything like that. <clears throat> so, yeah, okay. Um, no, there are a few systems that I sort of... Yeah, they were on my wish list um, for... My reason is always the same, it's, I heard about them when I was in school. Richard Stone, who is still alive. Cool, I, I found him on Facebook. I sent him a message, but he didn't reply, so, whatever. Um, he, he would bring in all the computer magazines and tell us all about all of these computers and things, and I don't know if anyone else was interested, but I really was. And so, yeah, computers links. EACA Color Genie um, MZ80K and X68000 
Yeah, I think that's... Oh, and the Spectra video SB318. And that... Was it made by Spectra video? Or was it some... An add-on keyboard computer thing for the Atari 2600. You put a keyboard on it, it sat on the top of the 2600 and made it into a computer of very limited capability. I wanted one of them as well. Yeah, those those are the ones that I really particularly wanted just because I knew about them and couldn't afford them. Every Everything else, pretty much, that I wanted, I've got. Um, which is really cool. I really have scratched the itch. The, the, now, even if I had the space and the money, would I buy those? Don't think I would, to be honest. The actual collecting of retro hardware now for me is done. I have done that, I have scratched that itch, I don't want any more. Um, I'm not ready to start selling them. <laughs> that's, that's not happening yet. Selling hardware for me is like if there were an absolute dire emergency and I desperately needed money, I have got systems I could sell that would make a useful amount of money in a fairly short space of time. But I don't want to do that. I haven't hit an emergency where that's been necessary and that's good. But I don't want more computers. But those ones that I mentioned, they're the ones that they were on my to-buy list had I had the opportunity. Mm. Um, and finally, I found the original question that you asked that I didn't see and you forgot what it was. So, uh, for Q&A, having just watched this, I'm curious as to if you've seen Spider-Man Homecoming or Into the Spider-Verse and what you think of those Spideys. Was this? I can't remember if you asked this question on a video where I had I talked about Spider-Man. Was it a Spider-Man video game? Anyway, uh, yeah, I've seen both of them. I've also seen the trailer for Far From Home. Uh, Homecoming, I like. It is a good Spider-Man film. It's good in that it um, it puts flesh on the bones of the, the Tom Holland Spidey character because we've already met him in. Um, in, in Captain America Civil War, which I love that film. Um, and I kind of found him, a li in, in Civil War, I found him a bit... <laughs> I sort of liked him, I understood what they were doing with him, because his his whole talking a lot and, and being jumpy and, and, and flighty and all of that is what Spider-Man does to put the bad guys off balance. It's just the first time I'd ever actually seen it done like that or anyone had seen it done like that. Um, and it took a little while to kind of get into that, but for Homecoming, yeah, I I like it. And what's his name? Michael Keaton as Vulture. Fantastic. Really, really good. Especially after, I mean, he's been Batman, he's been Birdman. Um, <laughs> it's just genius. Um, shocker. I found interesting. I find the whole character of Shocker interesting in that it, he's like Electro but less ridiculous, more plausible for the modern world. But Electro was always, I thought, a bit ridiculous. It'll be interesting to see how they do Mysterio for Far From Home. I think that that will be fascinating. Um. Into the Spider-Verse, love it, love it, and the Spider-Pig, I, I mean, you can't watch that and not think of The Simpsons, you just can't, um, genius, it is a really, really, really clever way of doing Spider-Man, I mean, when Spider-Man using real-life people and CGI and whatever has been done to death, they found another way of doing it animated that isn't just like an animated TV thing. And I've got, I've got a, a, one of the animated series on DVD. D yes. Um, and it's good, but Into the Spider-Verse just takes it, it, it. Curiously, initially, the animation style, I thought, mm, this is a bit too cartoony. This is like cartoons for kids. But then it was like, no, actually, it's not. Um, 
and having the main Spider-Man. I spoilers anyone who hasn't seen it already just stop watching now. Miles Morales. I have never read any of I've, I've been aware of his existence but never read any of his comics because to me Peter Parker is Spider-Man so I was like I, I don't want to read about another Spider-Man but the way they've done it the fact that he is in another universe and Spider-Man is still Peter Parker as well um, and all those other people genius spider is a thing, and she's never appeared in any of the animated, not animated, any any of the films. She, Jessica Drew, Spider Woman. She will always be Spider Woman to me. I know there have been several other Spider Woman and Spider Girl and Spider whatever, but where is Jessica Drew? She deserves a film, of, an appearance somewhere. I mean, she's kind of from the 80s and maybe still around in the 90s. I don't remember. She, I don't think she's a thing anymore, but I would, you know, they travel through time in Marvel films, fit her in somewhere for goodness sake, and She-Hulk, maybe not so much. <laughs> yeah. I kind of, I look at Gamora and I think She-Hulk. Yeah, no, I loved it. I think both, both films were... I mean, Homecoming, it was comfortable. It's what I've come to expect from a good Spider-Man film. And I like the way Tom Holland does it. Um, but that was, to me, that was proper standard Spider-Man. Into the Spider-Verse is something completely different. It, it, it can stand apart from all the other stuff and stand up on its own as something special. Uh, and I like it a lot. And anyone who's a Spider-Man fan who's not really really precious about who is actually Spider-Man and can deal with the multiple universe thing it's great definitely watch it okay I, I think that's everything checking yeah okay <laughs> anyone else who's got any questions they would like answering in a video like this leave a question in the comments below and uh, begin with for Q&A so I know not to just answer it in the comments. And thank you for watching. So, is he starting some kind of cookery show? Says something here about having pastry on. Pies? I like pies. <laughs>